literally I think a year since I've done a video like this if I'm remembering correctly part of that is because oh okay hold on I need to just start getting ready because I have work today and I mean I work every day I'm an adult this is already a mess but I have to get ready while I talk so that I start working on time so I thought that I would start doing some more like weekly vlogs first let me say why I haven't been making vlogs and that's because I feel like once I graduated college and I wasn't on college dance team anymore, which was like super fun. It was kind of like, okay, my life is boring. What am I gonna show y'all? At the same time, I do feel like my life can be at least relatable to some of you. And if it's not, maybe it's kind of entertaining. I literally can't see what I'm doing because my mirror is fogged up, so I probably look psycho. I don't wear a lot of makeup pretty much ever. The only time I do is if I'm dancing and performing. So let me catch y'all up if you don't know me in real life. I started working full-time right after I graduated as a marketing manager and then of course on the side I do this I dance as much as I can and I don't really know what the trajectory of my life is well I kind of have an idea in mind but I don't really want to talk about it because it's not safe for me to talk about yet <laughs> and I'm also trying to just like enjoy things you know and I enjoy dancing a lot I enjoy talking about dance and so that's why I keep doing it. I thought that in this vlog I would kind of take you guys along for the ride in terms of like how I continue dancing as an adult with a full-time job because I'm not gonna lie it can be kind of hard. You get really tired from you know working a full-time job all day and sometimes the last thing you want to do when you get done with work even if you're just working from home like me is drive all the way over to a dance class and dance for like two hours. But I found that pretty much always once I get there I'm totally fine with it. It's like the actually getting myself to the class that feels painful. Tonight I'm going to modern and contemporary and I'll talk about that later. This is like the epitome of a work from home outfit. Like on top, I mean minus my hair being wet. It's like, okay, yeah, she's put together. And then down below, I'm like literally in tiny shorts. <laughs> end of the day i'm gonna try and make a tiktok before i have to leave for class in like 30 minutes follow me on tiktok let's be friends at the curious dancer i'm breathing heavily because i ran up the stairs <laughs> Okay friends, I just almost got hit by a car and now I am going to dance class and the studio I go to is literally like 35 minutes away so it's far. And that's one of the things that I want to talk about in this video is like the struggles of dancing as an adult because it's so hard. And I live in literally, like I live in a big city with a lot of suburbs and it's still pretty difficult to find adult classes that fit in my schedule and are like what I want to take and aren't super expensive or it's like just at least affordable so this studio the reason I chose it is because I can do unlimited classes every month so they have like ballet modern jazz contempt I still have to just take the beginner classes because all of the intermediate and advanced classes are during the day during the week which like I obviously can't do because I work a job and I think I'm gonna regret the fact that I picked a 6 a.m. cycling class tomorrow morning because this dance class doesn't end till 9 so I won't be home till like 9 30 ish at least and then I'm gonna have to like shower get ready for bed and then wake up at like 5 20 to go to this class I don't know why I made this decision well I do know why because that's just what I could fit in my schedule um it's late now well late for me it's 11 that's not really late but I try to sleep by like 10 30 every day because I wake up at like 6 or 5 30. Class was good except that my brain just like clocked out. You know when you're in class and your brain just like checks out and you're kind of paying attention to the combo but not really so you're just like trying to catch on while the teacher does it? That was me tonight. <laughs> But I'm so glad I went 
and I'm really tired now, so good night. <laughs> good morning, time for cycling class. I'm feeling very dead today, but I have my coffee. <laughs> Hi, we're really sweaty now. It was a good class though, but I'm about to, actually I kind of want to get coffee, like not from home, which is probably bad. Like I don't need to spend the money on that, but I'm just really feeling like a Starbucks Nitro with sweet cream. I don't know why I love it so much. It's literally the most basic thing ever. It's like just coffee, cold coffee with sweet cream in it. Good secured. Got my mom a coffee too because she is visiting this week and I just felt like it would be nice to give her some coffee, so yeah. Today is like the first time in maybe two weeks that I have not had a Zoom call or like a video or in-person thing where I have to wear makeup and so I am taking full advantage of it. I just put a tan on. I have tried many a self tanner. Right now I'm trying out this one or I've been trying it out. It's the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark if anyone cares. I do really like it. I have like no complaints about it. I don't feel like it lasts super long but it does last me like pretty much a week. I'm very excited to have this day of just like working with no makeup on and just feeling chill. Today just feels like a good day. I don't know. There's a bunch of clothes over here, so don't look at those, but I've just been sitting here doing my morning stuff, which is like writing in my journal. Usually I write a little quote and I post it on my Instagram story. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet, if you like inspirational quotes every morning. And also I like write in my planner, just try and get kind of a to-do list going for my day. It just helps keep me sane. I'm kind of vibing with this new morning routine where I work out first and then get ready and do this stuff after. Because normally what I do actually is the opposite. So I wake up and right away I have coffee and I do my morning journaling and reading and all that stuff. And then usually I was working out at night. I don't know, I kind of like this also because my brain is actually on when I'm doing my journaling and so I can process more complex thoughts rather than when I do it when I first wake up. Yes, I'm awake, but a lot of times I'm sleepy and so the stuff that I'm writing has like no depth. I'm just like, today's gonna be a good day. Trees are green. I'm just writing like stream of consciousness stuff. So I kind of like this. I'm feeling really good today. I don't know if it's because I'm like vlogging with you guys. Maybe it's the Starbucks. <laughs> it's 8.26. I usually start work at nine. So I have a little bit of time and I think I'm gonna edit a TikTok and an Instagram post and then get on with my day. Hello friends, I feel like I have not put my face on this page in a while. I totally didn't realize this has been recording for like 10 minutes and it's wasting all of my footage. <laughs> I have fully developed into a chicken nugget. Uh, I'm getting very restless because like I haven't talked to anyone all day at work. Like I haven't had any meetings, which is weird. So I've just been on my laptop. Just been here clicking buttons. This is kind of why I've hesitated to do vlogs because I feel like, you know, for the past few months, most of us have just been at home and like all I do is this all day. And I wasn't sure how interesting like my other stuff is, but I'm gonna take you guys to ballet tonight but I'm just keeping it real. Like this is what I do during the day. So um, if anyone wondered what my life looks like, mostly this. Hello, good morning, it's the next day. I did a terrible job of vlogging yesterday, although I did get a clip of me at ballet, so I'll put that here. We can watch it together. I um, asked the teacher if she would let me do my leaps after class and if she would record me. And it had been so long since I did leaps like this. Basically, I wanted her to record me A, so I could put it in this vlog, but also B because she kept giving me corrections about something and I literally, like, I couldn't process it as she was saying it because it had been so long since I'd actually done leaps that I was just trying to get my body to, like, get up in the air. I couldn't think about, like, my arms and all the stuff that she was saying, so I just wanted to see what she was referring to. This is the time now. 
and like I said yesterday I'm trying to do my workouts in the mornings now this morning I want to attempt to go for a run which makes me feel slightly anxious because I haven't run since December and even then I remember it not being a very enjoyable experience so I'm just gonna try and go and not focus on my speed go as slow as I want to go just enjoy the time and run for, I don't know, I want to tell myself to run for 30 minutes, but I don't know how it's going to go. I'll just like gauge it how I feel. Because it's like I want to push myself, but I also don't want to hate the act of running. So I'm going to sit here, roll my muscles a bit, and get like loosey-goosey. Because I know it'll make me feel better while I run. Finish my coffee. And also I kind of want to wait until it's closer to sunrise. So I'm not running in complete darkness. Like I want the sun to be gradually rising as I go. I'm gonna chill, listen to some good music. It's Friday, life's good, you know? I'm trying to stay positive today. Oh, a new album came out today. This is it, this just made my morning. The Paper Kites released a new album and most of you probably have no idea who they are, but it just made my day. All right, time to foam roll. just saying that to sound cool if I were dying I would tell y'all but I'm not like I think it's because I've been cycling consistently my cardio has just gotten so much better than it used to be I guess the right word would be my stamina right not my cardio but you know what I mean I ran three miles um, I expected myself to not even be able to do one but that's the key you know I started out really slow even though I felt like I could go faster I waited until the very end to go my fastest. I think that's like a good running tip for people to know. You have to just go really slow in the beginning. And then I, at the very end, what I do sometimes is I'll pick a song that is like the pace that I want to be at for the very end of the run, where I know that like it's kind of pushing me, but it's still sustainable, maintainable. So I put in a song and that lasts like three minutes. I just try and stay at that pace. And then sure enough, get three miles in so i'm gonna shower now and get ready okay i have a presentation this morning for a student org that i was in in college basically they asked me if i wanted to come and talk about like staying organized in school and how i manage my schedule so i have this presentation that i've given before where i talk about like calendar blocking and how i use google calendar and it feels very nerdy, but I swear by this system to like keep my whole life organized. So I think I'm just gonna like run through it once on my own. And then it's not until 8.30 and it's 7.30. So I have time to like do some other stuff on my computer. But after that, I have a work call. So the day has begun. I meant to like record part of my presentation, but I totally forgot. Vlogging is so hard. It went well, but now it is time to work. It's Friday, finishing out the week. I can do it. It's the endorphins from that run this morning. I swear they're just circulating. This lighting is very bad and spooky, but I'm heading out to do the fun stuff now. To go to contemporary class. I'll put a clip of it here. So I don't have to like vlog in there and be awkward. Okay, I already know my body's gonna hurt so bad tomorrow, but it was a good class. It's like, it's a little bit of a different style than I normally do. It's not something I dislike. I'm just not, I don't gravitate towards this style. And I'm sorry that I had to like, put random music over it but like I don't want to get copyrighted so yeah I'm gonna take a shower now and tomorrow I'm teaching at the Cougar Dolls clinic so I want to sort of plan out what I'm gonna teach it's not till noon so I have time in the morning to think about it but I need to come up with some combos so <laughs> good night I was just picking up music to use in my combos today and now I'm gonna sit here well I'm gonna change and then <laughs> try to come up with my combos before I head out to spin class.
Okay, I'm about to show you guys this crazy bruise on my foot. So if you don't like crazy bruises, skip ahead like five seconds. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah! You'll see that? Okay. I'll stop showing it to you because that's gross. But yeah, um, it's from like throwing myself on the floor yesterday. Whatever. It'll go away. I'm done spinning and I'm sweaty and you, maybe you can't tell. And I'm like trying to decide, do I need to shower before I go to this clinic? Because I'm going to get sweaty again. But I'm like really sweaty right now and I don't want to show up gross. So I should probably shower. I'll shower. I am now trying to finish this choreography before I get ready because... I'd rather rush to get ready than like show up unprepared in terms of my choreo. Cause it's okay to show up a little ugly. It's not okay to be unprepared. I get cleaned up pretty nice. I literally haven't worn eyelashes since like the summer of last year. I just personally don't really feel like my face looks good with them. I don't know, these are kind of an exception. They just have to be like small. I feel like dramatic makeup doesn't look good on me. Anyway, I finished my combo. I have a little bit of time, so I think I'm just gonna like clean my room up. My body hurts really bad though. Like, I don't know if running yesterday and dancing was a good idea because like, I couldn't even sleep well last night. I woke up and my body was like, <sighs> I could tell it was not gonna be a fun day. And I have weird pains all over me, so I might need to take some Advil. anyone else because I feel like that's violating their privacy rights <laughs> and I don't know who wants to be on the internet. I'll go really fast, 20 fast or something. Wow, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm home now. When I was in the clinic, I didn't really think about it, but not everyone wants to be filmed and put on my YouTube channel. And it was kind of awkward because a lot of people at the clinic watch my YouTube channel. So, hey, if you saw me there. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here because all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day and the rest of the weekend is a ton of editing and video creation and stuff that's boring for y'all to watch. But stay tuned for upcoming videos. As always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna try and post more vlogs like this and just lots more fun content to come so hope to have you around and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day bye